welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish and a reviewing Tesla. This was the gap of the week, the play of the week. We did a bunch of puts in this. We did the day trade in this. I did the ad in this yesterday. Huge trade. This really made my week. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I mean, so it is earnings season. This is the best time to trade. This is when you're going to get the biggest moves. We saw that in this this week. You know, is every earnings gap a good gap to play? No. No, they're, it's no. <laughs> quite frankly. I mean, sometimes, it, you know, it's a nothing burger, actually. But this was not a nothing burger. It was a something burger. And we did it. And I loved it. And I had a feeling it was going to gap down. And I'd always do this. But I actually called the, I actually called puts, um, you know, before it fell. So you could have, I called the 185 puts, which I think one person held into the day. I didn't. I get out of them here, they were up here. One person held them, and if you had done the 185 puts and held them through the earnings, you would have made over $25 for the, or 24, 25, uh, I think 24 something was the high of that. And it was just a huge trade if you held it. Again, the conservative thing to do was to get out here because you were up money here. It was a good solid trade in and out. Now, I also called the 175s here. Now that was a big trade, boom, on this particular day, if you got in and out here. So again, there was opportunities to chunk it out in Tesla this week in the options. Again, I called puts. Now just let me show you what we did as far as the day trade. Let's go over here. Yesterday, I, I could not have traded this any better. I could not have traded this any, any, any better in my life than I did yesterday. Waited, got the right entry, did the ad, held it. I mean, I just couldn't have traded this any better. This was professional trading, expert trading at its finest. I was extremely careful, extremely cautious, but I was aggressive anyway still too. Did the right thing with the stop, waited, did the ad, did it all. So anyways, here's where this closed the night before. Roughly up here, 180 and change. Here's what opened here in the morning. I saw it, it came out at night. Solid at night, and then it opened in the next morning around 166. And people try to buy it for a gap fill. It's a stupid thing to do. While sometimes things reverse in the gap, that is not a consistent way to make money in the market. So I developed a system to rate the gap going in the direction of the gap. Can you always short a gap down? No. Can you always go long a gap up? No. But I developed a system if it rates 20 points or more per the 26 point rating system to take it in the direction of the gap. That is a system that I use every day for every trade that I take. So long story short, this worked and we did it. And then we did the ad and we got the drop and we got the drop and it almost went to 160. Dream target was 160, got really, really close. And then today it's bouncing with the market. Low today was 161.32. So, you know, this, this was shocking to a lot of people that have been very bullish, I think, in Tesla. And again, this was an earnings play but it, the market's rallying right now. So obviously Tesla's rallying today. Looks like some people did buy this today because today it did gap up. And it'll be interesting to see where this goes in the next couple of days. And of course, Tesla is with the SPY. So we'll look at the SPY. We'll look at Tesla. We'll see what happens with it. It was a beautiful trade. I really just did a great thing there. We didn't, we didn't even take any stops in that before it went. I waited. We took it. I mean, I did the ad. It was just a huge trade. So... I wish we could get massive winners like this every single solitary day. That's not realistic, but it is realistic to get massive, massive, massive winners like this once a week in earnings season or more. So I don't know what that big one will be next week. The big one this week was Tesla. Gap of the week, play of the week, short of the week, put of the week, all. So have a great weekend, everyone. For those of you that got this trade, congratulations. And the one person that I know that held the 185s was Muhammad, so congratulations to him. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter or if you'd like to learn my method in the Golden Gap course. Next class is April 29th and 30th. Have a great day.